do Vlogmas Day 14. Hurrah! I have an at-home day today. Um, it's oh, about half past one in the afternoon, actually. I've had a bit of a busy morning. Um, I did mean to film this morning, but the day somewhat got away from me. There's an awful lot of train strikes on at the moment, and that makes getting my smallest boy, Max, to school awkward because he takes the train. Um, so I was up and out driving him to school and then when I got back my lovely cleaner Jenny was here so for a couple of hours I was busy cleaning and scrubbing alongside Jenny um, which probably wouldn't have made very exciting vlogmas viewing. Um, I have now caught up with my editing yay so the weekend and the Monday and the Tuesday vlogs are all now live so I've shuffled them all into a playlist a vlogmas 2022 playlist and they are now all ready for your viewing pleasure. Um, I'm not quite caught up on the comments, but I had a good go at it yesterday. And speaking of yesterday, good Lord, that was a long day. <laughs> I was on from, mm, I got to work about half past six in the morning and I left at 10 past nine at night. My word, that was a long day. Had quite a few clients, which was nice because it keeps me busy and occupied. Um, but yes, I was absolutely shattered. Dave and Conrad went to a gig in Bristol yesterday night. They went to see Clutch, which is one of their favourite bands. Um, and my evening receptionist is quite unwell at the moment. So I had clients until eight o'clock anyway, but no desk cover. And then I had to stay. To time. Anyway, so the long and short of it is I'm shattered. So I've got a little bit more running around to do this afternoon. I've got to pick Max up from school. I was hoping Conrad could do it, but he's got to go into the work. He's got clients um, and it's Dave's turn for a monstrously long shift. But I've also got a car trev order to pack and drop off to the post office. So I'm going to do that on the way to pick up Max. And then when I'm home, I'm home and I'm done. Advents. Another advent from lovely Jeanette. Who seems to be in New York? What are you doing in New York, Jeanette? My goodness. Oh, candy cane. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Really sparkly pink and white yarn. That's lovely. And day 14 from Angela. This is icicles. Drum carded bat of Corridale, Merino, Flax and Angelina. Flax, ooh. I've never spun flax before. That is absolutely the colour of ice though. I think the, is the flax the cream? Yeah, I think perhaps the flax is the, the white bits. That's going to be an interesting spin. Um, and I showed you in yesterday's vlog, um, I had a rather good post day. A replacement kettle for work, hurrah! Um, because due to my disastrous Monday, I needed a replacement kettle. And I also showed you my two new skeins of yarn, but I realized that the camera lens wasn't very clean. So there they are again. So this is truly hooked. Um, a UK based indie dyer and this is her DK with nylon base and this is Black Forest Mocha and Bagudi and I was really desperate for some nice thick wool socks and I treated myself to two skeins of yarn um, as well as train strikes we've got a lot of postal strikes going on at the moment um, but when I bought these I was in no rush for them so I thought well if they don't get here till January that's totally fine um, I went for tracked 24 hour shipping um, I ordered them afternoon on the Friday and they were here with me yesterday so I think that's pretty good so really nice service from Verity the dyer just wanted to show you those again so speaking of postage I better get cracking with that car trip order because it's got to get all the way to the United States
Okay, so <coughs> normally with car trev yarn orders, I do click and drop. So you package things up and you can drop them in an extra large post box. But because that order is international traction signed, we've got to go to the post office. And I thought you might like to come. I like your hand. Post office. If my Welsh is correct, that's pronounced Soy Far Post. 